Okay, so today we'll be working on a pair of Glock 201Bs. Pretty heavily trashed yet again. Heel top lid's come off and the sole is already coming away. Gonna have to be replacing the footbed on this one. There's a few holes inside and a new welt replacement. So let's get to it. Boom! down the shoe so we're going to be removing this old sole now we're going to be removing this old heel block as the top lift came off the guys continued to walk so he's ground down the side here quite worn out so we won't be reusing it we'll be uh, doing a wee build up of leather stacks Just going to clip off these old nails again. Now the guy said he's had these for about 15 years. Uh, he's had them resold a few times, rehealed several times. They've lasted them a good while. So let's get them all back into shape for them to last another good long time for the guy. Now he has given me free reign on what to do. He's asked for a different coloured bottom. So he doesn't want to have a natural finish on the sole. So I'm going to get my thinking cap on and try and do something a little bit different for this guy. Just going to run this on the machine, on the band, and we're going to break all the old stitches that are there. Rough up the heel area, the top of the nails, just sand them down flat. Makes it a lot easier to remove the sole. broken so you can see how easily the sole comes off now. So yeah, you can see that the state of the shoe is in. 
um, over the years of walking. Welch really compressed down. Quite hard to get underneath there actually. Very dirty inside and the uh, insole footbed is just proper wrecked. So we're going to have to be removing this. We'll use it as a template, what we've got, uh, to draw out a new footbed, attach that in and we'll be doing a re-welt on this as well. So I'm just going to break it all down, take out the heel rand, smash these old nails through, remove them from the inside of the heel and we'll probably just, yeah, we'll reuse this because the shank's in really good condition. So let's get to it guys. Use a little bit of glue thinner. This just allows me to take the footbed out, pry it away from the gemming. So just use a little bit all around, let that soak in for a good few minutes, and then it should be a lot easier to remove without ripping and damaging the gemming. Okay guys, that's the shoe all broken down. So we're just going to have to rebuild it back up now, so we'll be putting the new footbed in, re-welting it, and sorting out all the heel stuff, so let's get to it. box here so it's gonna be popping this in the space that we've got on the shoe here really compressing it right into all the corners okay guys we're starting to make shape now I've gone ahead and I've made the fiddle back waist here so pieces of leather stuck on top of each other and then I've chamfered each side here 
So it just comes at an angle to make a nice point on the middle of the sole. The sole's heating up now. Should be good to attach. So again, we're going to try and get the center of the logo in the center of the shoe. And I'm also going to wet this a little bit. Fit about waist starting to take a little bit of shape now. Okay, guys, so let's groove the channel. So we're going to be using the groover tool here. Stitching time, guys. Success. Okay, so we're just going to pop a wee bit of glue underneath this flap here and then stick that back down.
Yeah, it's coming together nice now. To come together now, we've got the toe plate in. And now I'm just gluing up some new heel blocks. So we've got a couple of pieces of leather, we're just going to stack them up. Pop a top lift on. And fire it on here. Yeah, just cook it up some toast. So now we're just going to get the pitch of the shoe right. If you've watched these videos before, you'll kind of know how we do it now. But for those of you guys who are just joining us, we're going to be cutting this at an angle from the front to the back. And then that will allow the shoe to sit on a lot easier. Okay, so that's all ready to go. I've um, gone ahead and inked and coloured the inside. This prevents us from, when we've put it on, we might have to cut into it and dye it and we've got a chance of scuffing up the new leather sole. So, best to do this before we pop the heel block on. Leave that on the press for a couple of minutes. Okay guys, that's us done with another project. Came out pretty nice this one. Uh, so for here we've done a half blind stitch, triumph toe plate, and a slight fiddle back waist. Very, very subtle, but the guy did ask for a little subtle fiddle back waist, so there we are. So if you like what you see here, drop a little comment, smash that like button, and if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Until the next one, peace out.